guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can create a scroll view for your iOS app. Uh, and of course we're going to be working in Swift. So let's, uh, let's fire up Xcode and get right into this. So let's create a new project. Single view app is fine. Uh, give it whatever name you'd like and save it wherever you'd like. We'll call it test. Put it on our desktop. And once this decides to load, let's expand Xcode and this side. And let's say Command R to run our app in our simulator so we don't have to wait for it to build the first time. Let's make sure we have the right simulator, which we do. And it should pop up like so. So first and foremost, what is a scroll view? So as the name implies, if you're not familiar, a scroll view is a user interface element in which you can put other elements and you can specify a scroll inset. So that's how much you want to scroll in either the horizontal or the vertical direction. So um, if you watch videos on table views or if you've worked with table views, those are scrollable. Those objects actually inherit from scroll view. Under the hood, it's all a scroll view. And actually I can show you a great example on the simulator here. Your home screen is actually uh, a collection view which comes down from a scroll view. So this essentially is a pretty uh, nifty scroll view that Apple has put together where all your icons go. So let's uh, let's jump into our view controller and we're going to be creating the scroll view programmatically. Let's uh, close this guy because we don't need this. Um, but we're going to be creating the scroll view programmatically. You can do it in the storyboard as well but it's easier to exemplify in a video the things that are happening with the scroll view and personally I like creating it with code also it gives you more control in my opinion. So let's start by specifying a background color for our view and this will help us just see it better. And let's override the method view did layout subviews. In here we're gonna do super view did layout subviews and let's create a scroll view. So let's do uh, let scroll view equals UI scroll view frame and the frame we're going to give it is view dot bounds and let's say view add sub view scroll view and let's give this a background color as well let's give it a green and actually let's change this um, and let's make our scroll view uh, not flush to the ends of the screen so we can see the view behind it because we gave that a color too. So let's do CG rect. I'm going to give it an XY width and height. So let's give it 10. Oop, let's ignore this antivirus pop up. Let's give this 10. Let's do view dot frame dot size dot width. Um, whoops, minus 20. And the height we do view dot frame dot size the height minus 20. Let's run the app and we'll see a couple of things. First we see that we have the view in the background which is red. Then we have this scroll view thing which doesn't look like it does much yet which is green. So before we start adding stuff to the scroll view and making it scroll there's a couple of things to keep in mind. A scroll view can generally uh, be defined as a view which is the viewfinder and that pans over content which is hidden off the frame. So what I mean by that is if you, taking an example, if you take your hands right now as you're watching this video and make a circle out of them that you can look through and if you focus your vision through that and you pan around as in you move your hands, that's essentially what a scroll view does. Under the hood, your, the scroll view has a bunch of content, but your screen is only so big where you can see some of the content at once, which is kind of a very, kind of like the reason the scroll view came about when Apple first built it. You need a way to be able to pan either vertically in like a vertical list scroll fashion or horizontally the content to be able to see it and bring it on frame, uh, which in this case I'm calling a viewfinder. So it's important to understand when you're adding content to the scroll view, the scroll view might be, let's say, 200 by 800, but your content might be 2,000 down on the y-axis. 
it's more or less off screen and you're going to be able to scroll this and bring it up. Now the scroll view uh, adds a lot of functionality for you like a delegate and colors and the rubber banding effect that Apple provides across iOS. So it's really clean to get up and running. So with that being said, let's add a button to this at the top and let's add a button at the bottom uh, off screen and we'll show how we can actually achieve the scrolling. So let's do let top button. We're gonna do top button, we're gonna give it a frame. Let's do Um, let's do 20, 20, 100, 100. And let's just give this a background color of, I don't know, let's do blue. And let's do scroll view, add sub view, top button. Now, let's copy and paste this. Let's change this to bottom. Let's give, let's keep blue actually. And let's make the Y, let's say like, 2000. Now let's run this and see what happens. So as we expected, well, first and foremost, as we didn't expect, our blue button isn't up here. So let's see what we missed. So we have a we have a top button. It's a UI button. X is 20. Y is 20. Width is 100. Height is 100. Background is blue. And scroll view. We're adding the sub view to that, and then this one, uh, I see. So we're doing this, we need to copy this here, although that shouldn't make our top button not appear, but let's see what else we forgot to do. Well, now we're crashing, so clearly I copy and pasted too fast, so let's go back and see what I messed up. Um, so I, I like to keep these moments in the video because it's really it shows that like it's, it's alright if your stuff isn't working for the time being it's really good practice to go back and uh, figure out where you went wrong. So there's our top button. I just commented out the bottom. So let's take a look at the bottom and see what we missed. So we have a bottom button. We're creating a UI button. We gave it a frame and we assigned it a color and then we're saying ah, this should be scroll view. So in the scroll view we want to add the bottom button as a sub view. Let's run it again. It shouldn't crash. Beautiful. So now we see our blue button here and there's no bottom button. So one can kind of infer that it's probably off screen. So we need to scroll. But what the heck is going on? Because we clearly can't scroll. Well, what we haven't done and it's the most important thing we need to do is specify the scroll inset, which is the scroll size. So we have we have defined a frame for the scroll view itself, which is the size of this rect which is the scroll view frame right here. But what we need to do uh, is what we need to do is specify how much the scroll view can scroll and um, intrinsically which direction. So if the width is greater, you can scroll horizontally. If the height is greater, you can scroll vertically. And the way we do that is simply by saying scroll scroll view dot content size equals CG size and we're going to give this a width and a height. So the width I'm going to do the views frame dot size dot width and the height because this is at 2000 and the height is this much 100. Let's give it a height of 2200. That way we'll be able to scroll down to the bottom button and also have 100 below the button. So now if we click and drag we see ah, look at that things are moving. So if we go further down, we eventually get to this guy, which is our button at the bottom. Notice this green container stays put. And what's changed is the ability to scroll this. And you notice that we also have scroll bars. I don't know if that's very easily visual visualized in the video, but um, all of that part, all that stuff is built into the scroll view and like this rubber banding effect. So. Yeah, that's how you basically put together a scroll view and add stuff to it. Um, now, there are also uh, cool things you can do like paging. And paging is actually what the what the uh, home screen here does, uh, which is the way that it snaps to a page. So like if you let go of the scroll view here, it snaps that way. If you let go of it here, it snaps that way. So you can specify things like paging. 
You can also get the scroll position, which is the content offset property. So you can imagine in apps like Instagram or Facebook, once you scroll to the bottom, they want to go and load more content. What they essentially do, even though they use a table view, which is slightly different, what they essentially do is they wait to see how far low the user has scrolled. And before they get to the very bottom, or once they get to the very bottom, they'll go out and say, hey, we need to load more content. So you can get that through the scroll view delegate. So before I end this video, let's do some quick properties. So you can do the delegate on here, you can get the content offset, and you can see which direction the user has scrolled. If it decides to autocomplete. So content offset is a CG point, so you can get the X off of it, which is your horizontal, of course, or the Y. And yeah, that's basically how you add a scroll view. Um, that's the basics of it. It's a super, super important element, and I hope you guys uh, understand how to go about using it. If you like the video, smash that like button below. It helps the video and the larger channel out quite a bit. Subscribe if you're new. I do regular Swift tutorials uh, daily, and I do other stuff also, software engineering in general, uh, mobile, other tech stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.